So Apple just finished the first day of their 2024 keynote, and this was a huge one. They finally announced that they're adding AI to all their products, and they're calling it Apple Intelligence. The thing is, it's not really Apple Intelligence. It's coming directly from OpenAI, and they're integrating ChatGPT into all of their products. Now, this is bringing up some security concerns. Elon Musk has already come out and basically said that if Apple integrates OpenAI at the OS level, then he's going to be banning Apple devices from all of his companies. Um, that would be Tesla, Twitter, X, uh, SpaceX, basically all of his companies. And he's got a lot of big companies. Um, and he's basically saying that this is a huge security violation. And he's got a pretty funny meme um, that he put out recently about how, you know, you're basically sharing your Apple data directly from your iPhone to OpenAI. Uh, so there's definitely some security concerns here. Um, but Keeping that in mind, I think these are some of the biggest, most amazing changes we've seen to iOS and basically all of their Apple products uh, in a really long time. And I'm really excited uh, to go over these. So the first and basically biggest one is that they're integrating ChatGPT directly into iPhone. Um, so the example they give here is basically um, they're showing how ChatGPT is now going to be integrated into Siri. So you can ask Siri uh, a question and it's basically going to come up with uh, an amazing answer for you provided by ChatGPT. So that's pretty awesome. Um, they're also integrating ChatGPT into other areas of iPhone. So, um, you know, photos, so you can go in and, you know, talk to it and it's going to work with ChatGPT to share your photo, uh, potentially to edit your photo, which I'm going to show you later. Um, you can ask questions about a photo. So it's actually really, really awesome um, to think about how many different ways you can use ChatGPT if it's integrated directly into your iPhone. Um, so this is actually just, to me, the biggest release so far is just having ChatGPT directly into iPhone. Some of the other cool things that they've released, um, now you're gonna be able to send money just by tapping phones. Um, so basically using Apple Pay just with one other phone. So I can basically Apple Pay from my friend um, directly without having to use Zelle, um, you know, Venmo, things like that. I can just basically tap phones, send you 20 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever it is for lunch. Um, and the money's sent instantly. So really cool way to not have to open up an app and, um, you know, what's your Venmo, what's your Zelle, all that kind of stuff. Just boom, be able to send a payment immediately. So um, I thought that was pretty cool too. Um, this is one that's getting a lot of attention, uh, basically being able to solve math problems on your iPad just by writing them out. So I can see this being really useful for students. Um, I can come in and just kind of, you know, start scribbling out, you know, some of the stuff I'm working on um, with all of the different signs and things like that. And it's actually going to read it, understand it, and provide me solutions um, for those math problems, um, which can be really helpful again for students. It can be helpful in a business application. Um, if I'm, you know, if I have a bunch of stuff written out about something I'm working on in business, um, I can basically write out the equation and it's gonna give me a solution for that. So um, a little bit gimmicky, but also really, really cool. And I can definitely see some applications for this. So this is one that I think is, is gonna have a ton of use case right away. Um, and this is gonna be able to, uh, basically, I, I'm assuming this is using AI, but it's gonna basically um, read what you're writing and then be able to rewrite it, proofread it, and summarize it using AI. So there's apps out there like Grammarly um, and a bunch of other ones that basically already do this. So um, they have Chrome extensions, um, iPhone apps, things like that, that'll actually read um, what you're writing in an email, in a message, um, things like that. And it's gonna actually um, proofread it, rewrite it, and then potentially summarize it for you. So if you're not a native English speaker, um, you know, this, this can be really, really helpful. Or if you're just not great with vocabulary and, and writing, um, this is just super helpful to keep things very professional um, and, and, you know, written very, very well. So um, I think this is gonna nuke uh, companies like potentially Grammarly and other companies like them. Um, they, they also have, you know, pretty big user bases already. So they're, they're not going away. But um, putting this directly into Apple products like my MacBook, my iPhone, my iPad, things like that. I mean, I'm going to use this all the time. There's, and, and I use Grammarly, and I'm going to get rid of Grammarly, and I'm going to use this all the time. So um, I can definitely see uh, this being probably one of the biggest use cases so far for their new features. Again, I don't know if they've mentioned this is AI-powered, um, but it definitely is going to you know, work really well. It's, it's coming from Apple, and I'm excited for this for sure. So uh, another kind of gimmicky thing that they're doing um, is being able to animate um, pictures using AI. So the examples they give here is like, um, you know, you can take a profile picture from um, someone in your contacts and, um, you know, create animated images for them. I'm assuming this is using Dolly 3, uh, which is the OpenAI image engine uh, for AI. Um, but 
I, I can definitely see them taking this to another level down the line. I think this is sort of their intro to adding AI generated images um, into you know SMS and things like that. But I can see this going a little bit further down the line. But just a really cool thing that they're adding now to um, using AI. So uh, one other thing is is basically that they're adding personal context to Siri. Um, so I think this is really cool because. The idea behind this is that Siri is now going to be able to, um, you know, read your calendar, read your notes, um, you know, see what you're writing in email, see what you've been listening to, um, see what you've been watching. And it's basically going to take the context of everything that you're doing on iPhone and be able to provide you much better results, at, you know, for your questions. Um, and it's also going to help identify potential things that you could you need help for down the line, just taking that context into mind. So somewhere that you've driven to recently, um, you know, something that you've had a question on recently. So somebody texts you a book recommendation, like they're mentioning here, it's going to be able to pick that up for you and find that really quickly. Um, it's going to be able to search through your images um, and, and be able to add, like it's showing here, a driver license number just directly from your images into a form that you're filling out. So it's taking everything that you've done on iPhone, it's putting that into context and it's making Siri a lot more helpful. And they're, they're saying that this is all going to be very secure using their system, their, their Apple security system. So assuming this is secure, assuming we don't have any security issues with this, I think this is also going to be tremendously helpful. And it's basically going to kill the AI wearables market, um, which, you know, was a big deal. A lot of people are coming out with these AI wearables. There's absolutely no need for AI wearables because I don't need an AI device to be watching everything I do when iPhone already knows everything I do and basically takes that into context to be extremely helpful using AI. So massive, massive leap forward here um, in, in this technology that I think is going to be super helpful. Again, assuming the security is there. Um, so again, they take that to the next level here with personal assistance, uh, where basically they use all that context to actually, um, you know, basically have these AI personal assistants help you out with emails and things like that as well. Um, this is one that I thought was really cool too. Uh, again, with the security in mind, right? I think that's where Elon was coming from. Like all of this seems so intrusive, but if it's being done right and there's no real security violations, I think that this is super helpful too. So the idea behind this is that it's actually gonna be recording your phone calls and it's gonna be able to take notes. So it's gonna transcribe your phone call. It's gonna basically write down every word that I said, every word that the person on the other line said. Um, if there's three people writing down what they said, four people, et cetera. So it's gonna transcribe the conversations that I'm having, and then it's gonna summarize them and take notes on them. So I can see this from a business perspective. If I'm on the call with a client and they have a bunch of requests for me, I don't have to be sitting there writing down every request or typing out every request. It's recording the conversation and it's writing them all out for me. Um, again, you could, this could be in a personal sense, you know, if somebody's reminding you how to take care of their dog and Hey, you know, feed him three times a day and, you know, um, walk him, um, you know, at this time, et cetera, it's taking those notes for you. It's summarizing your conversation. So tons of use cases where this could be helpful. I do see the security stuff, you know, do I really want Apple listening in on my conversations? Maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, you know, if the security is there, this could be super helpful also, but a really cool feature that'll definitely save time for a lot of people. And then the last, um, or one of the last ones I want to show you is the priority notifications. So um, basically, it's going to sort your notifications by priority. So, you know, we've all had the, the time where we get these notifications and we look and there's like 150 notifications that are all totally useless. So what this is going to do now is it's going to start to prioritize um, notifications that it feels um, are higher priority, um, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know how they're going to do this, um, but I think if it works well, it could definitely be pretty cool. And then the last one um, is basically using um, AI to do enhanced image editing. So removing people from images, removing backgrounds, um, and basically um, upscaling images, things like that. This is something that Android has had for a long time now, um, but it is really cool to see this on iOS, to see this on our iPhones now and be able to have these features. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm an iPhone user, so for me, it's gonna be really, really helpful. And um, you know, you know it's gonna be using really good tech because it's coming from Apple. So you know it's gonna be really, really solid. Um, so those are all the ones I wanted to show you. Again, it's only day one. Um, usually they release all the cool stuff on day one, but I'm really excited to see what happens um, over the next few days of their keynote also.